Hello there, Tony Meadow once again and a lovely warm welcome to my workshop. Today's project I'm going to build a pre-filter uh, for my Canva. If you remember rightly I uh, done a review three or four videos ago and to be perfectly honest it's working a dream. Um, it's about 95% better than it was, it's not 100% because obviously you still get a little bit of dust there flying up but the majority of it is going into the canvac and it's that good in fact it's filling up all the time with dust. So um, I decided uh, to build a, a cyclone um, pre-filter and I looked on eBay and there's lots and lots of them for about £13, I thought absolutely super but when you read the blurb you can only get them with a 50 millimeter inlet and outlet. And what I wanted was 100 millimeter because that's the tubes that have gone to the cam back. Anyway, I'd done lots and lots of research, looked all over, and the only place I could get one, uh, or sorry, I could get a 75 millimeter one was from China. Um, so I managed to get one. The good news was uh, they said it was going to be 60 days. Uh, delivery um, it come within two weeks the downfall to it was that it was where I had to buy it in US dollars and I'll put a link in the in the uh, comments field to uh, where to purchase them from um, I think it was $23 US dollars to purchase it and I think it was $28 delivery so uh, nothing I could do about it so altogether it cost me £46 where on eBay the 50mm one but they just wouldn't be big enough they're only a 50mm one and what's the maddening thing is it's the same company where I bought them but bought the, uh, the, the, the 75mm one but they don't sell them now on eBay so that's it uh, the 75mm inlet now so I'm gonna have to turn uh, uh, a 75mm hole uh, 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 inlet and a hundred millimeters so it would just be like a shroud 75 to uh, rather than purchase a, um, a, a reducer so that's what I'll do I've looked all over on eBay uh, on, on the internet to buy something like a 50 litre um, receptacle or a barrel what it would, would keep the dust in and this would sit on top uh, but I can't get one anywhere I can get a 50 or a 60 litre one but the little dumpy things and they're only uh, something like 45 um, centimetres wide and 300, uh, 300 millimetres high, little short dumpy things. So I'm not, I'm just going to put this down, I'm not being tight or greedy here but about two weeks ago I done my um, drive with a, a sailor and they came in these 20 litre drums and I bought two of them. So it's got the snap connector on it. Um, I'm going to join two together um, just by bolting it and then I'll fit the cyclone on top of that and it's the exact size that I want. So without further ado uh, I'll do it stage by stage like I usually do on how I do things and hopefully it'll be a big success. Well, we'll make a start by joining the two tins together. Uh, and all I'm gonna do, I've marked out, and this is the one that we're gonna use. Uh, and all I'm gonna do is join them together and drill a series of uh, holes for bolts to fit through and cut the bottom of the, the tin out. Well I've cut the centre out and all I'm going to do is attach that by a couple of bolts to the bottom of this, drill through and then cut a circle around there, join the two barrels together. Well all I've done is cut a hole 
in the bottom of one of the uh, cans and also into the lid of another one and bolted it together so it's a nice tight fit and I'll show you how, uh, how I connect them together. Hopefully they'll connect together uh, rather quickly. All you do is put one on top of the other and then connect it with the clip. And there we go, two of them connected together and obviously that will be uh, the dust collector. It's time to fit the cyclone to the top of the top tin. And what you get within the cyclone is a, a cutout diagram. And all we do is stick that to the top of the lid, cut it out round that line, and then drill through for the cyclone to fit through and obviously uh, drill through. If you very carefully cut round the template and drill the holes and now it's time to fit the cyclone itself. Right, I've connected it on with the screws but what I've also done, uh, just in case there is a, a slight leak, I've made an airtight seal with a bit of silicone sealant. Um, or help to make it uh, that much better. I suppose I could put some on that side, but you won't ever see that side, so I'd rather do it that way. Just attach it to the cylinder. And that's it done. Well, I've got it all connected together. Um, two tins um, connected together. Simple operation now to empty it is to take that away and obviously empty the sawdust. Connect it back up again, another simple operation. Had to turn these couple of shrouds just to build it up to 100 millimeters so it would fit my horse. So that's okay. Just epoxied them on. There's no way they're going to move now. All he has to do now is to fit it in place uh, and then obviously test it out. Well, I've got it complete, and yes, it doesn't look the best of jobs with the uh, flexible horses. However, uh, the good news is it does work extremely well. I would say it's even more than 95% uh, efficient. Uh, as long as it's going to stop um, the cam vac from filling up, uh, I'm all for it. I will just go around the corner now. And you can see uh, that was the reason why uh, I didn't want a dumpy barrel. Um, but I'll demonstrate it now and we'll, uh, we'll see how efficient it is. I've just physically took the cam back apart and there was no dust at all in it. Right, I'm hoping that it'll show up uh, just how efficient it is. I'm going to turn it on and then obviously uh, we'll feed some dirt into it. I think you'll agree with me there that that looks absolutely fantastic. So um, I'll just strip the cam back down and make sure it's all clear um, and then obviously uh, you can make your own decisions. I've just had a look inside the cam back and it's absolutely clear. There's not a morsel uh, of, of dirt or filth. Uh, to be perfectly honest, what I did, I fed it through with some shavings just to um, demonstrate how efficient it was. And yes, it does look a little bit um, unsightly with all the tubes. However, 
uh, I must say it's working more than the 95% which I thought it was going to be. I would say it's more like 99%. So yes, it's well worth it. And I'll just go around the other side again. Uh, you can see uh, it's just behind the lathe. So it's not as if it's, it's in the way of anything. So all in all, it's been a great success. Well, I finally got it done. Um, a few pros and cons. Um, the pros um, works absolutely wonderful. Um, I think when we talk about the Provac, it's absolutely superb. I think I've said in my previous video, it's a 95% better than that I had on my own uh, charm, on my old charm wood. Um, glad I got it. But this new cyclone is absolutely wonderful. Um, I stripped, as I said earlier on, I stripped the uh, the cam back down, and I know I'd only put a little bit of shavings through, but there didn't seem to be any dirt in there whatsoever. You could you could see uh, the physical uh, cyclone effect going down. Absolutely wonderful. Um, also, um, I would have been better if I could have got a. A, a, a tub or some plastic vessel but everything that I've seen um, was dumpy 450 millimeters wide where it was a lot of work joining the two uh, tins together although it was free but it cost me in man hours so it wasn't but it was just the right size and that was what it was all about I've only got a limited distance between the wall and the lathe so it, it had to be narrow but, but tall um, the cons I would have thought they were well, the only place I could get it was for was China, and it was more for it cost me more in postage than it did for the physical cyclone itself. But all in all, I'm so glad I've got it, and anything that keeps uh, the dirt away from that canvas. And another thing, what what seems because it's so powerful, it all snakes up the the. the um, the, 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 the flexible tubes all snake up so what I will have to do uh, in the next day or two is strap the uh, the two tins I'll just put a strap round the wall so it holds it to the wall because it's just so powerful um, anything better than breathing dust into your lungs anyway please subscribe and I'll catch up with you on the next video what I nearly forgot to say was, um, don't forget, make a central uh, this Saturday and Sunday, the 11th and 12th of May. If you do recognise me, please stop me and we'll have a little chat. Catch up with you soon. Bye.